Why isn't democracy working? Representatives have a monopoly on lawmaking and power. Where did they get it? The framers of the Constitution gave it to them back in 1787 in Philadelphia. The monopoly was created when the framers failed to provide procedures for the people to also make laws like representatives. But didn't the founders say that the people should be able to change their government in the future to meet their needs? Of course they did. Just listen to a quote from George Washington. The basis of our political system is the right of the people to make and to alter their constitutions of government. Thomas Jefferson, each generation has the right to choose for itself the form of government it believes most promotive of its happiness. And then, of course, we got James Madison. The people were, in fact, the fountain of all power, and by res resorting to them, all difficulties were got over. They could alter constitutions as they pleased. All power is originally in the book and should be exercised them if convenient and even with a little difficulty. This, of course, is, uh, these are the words of James Wilson. Why wasn't these views acted upon institutional framers whose job it was to put these beliefs into the Constitution? didn't trust the people. A compromise to include slavery and to keep the people at arm's length from the ratification process. Framers knew from Mass the Massachusetts experience that the people would not ratify a constitution that contained slavery. Madison's solution required that ratification be done by state conventions. That's under Article 7 of the Constitution. This kept the process in the hands of the elites and kept slavery in the Constitution and denied the people not only a role in ratification, but in any future role in being able to legislate changes in the government. Can this situation be changed? Of course it can. Remember, all political power comes from the people. What we need is a national election that will give the people the opportunity to vote on legislation amending the Constitution, thereby creating a legislature of the people, which should have been done convention in 1787. The national election, a national election is being conducted by Philadelphia II, nonprofit given the opportunity to vote to enact the National Citizens Initiative for Democracy. Obviously, this election is being conducted by a corporation since the Congress would never give the people that opportunity. The Congress and the nation's elites will never dilute their power by empowering the people. Now, holding a national election by Philadelphia too, is this legal? There are no procedures in the Constitution for the people to amend the Constitution, only procedures for the representatives to amend the Constitution. The people's action are legal since they are doing exactly what the framers did in 1787 and 88 when they created our government using Article 7 of the Constitution. Uh, let us go back why the founders' beliefs were not enacted in the Constitution. They were not enacted because they didn't trust the people. Madison set up a process whereby uh, Article 7 would require nine state conventions to ratify. Now, this was illegal on its surface. Very simple reason that uh, everybody lived under the Federation, which required that all decisions had been made unanimously. And, of course, that was not the case for nine states. But what made it legal was the fact that the opposition folded. But more importantly, because the, art, the Article 7 self-actuating decision-making process, that is, when the people voted for ratification, they were voting for the process 
that was being undertaken, and they were voting for the content of the process, which was the Constitution, and that's what made it legal. Now, what we're doing with Initiative for Democracy is we're using Article 7 in the same manner. 